My name is Christine Moore. Before I married, I was a young. My connection to Bilson Mission Chapel starts with my maternal grandparents, Milson and Lily Reed. Grandmother belonged to the Mother's Union at Bilson Chapel around 1925 or so. After my mother was born in 1928 at Upper Bilson Road, they moved to Barleycorn Square. Mum met Dad at the Station Inn on Station Street when my dad was home on leave from the war. Mum's sister Dorothy was already courting Dad's brother Brian, so it was Dorothy that introduced them. Mum and Dad were married at St Stephen's Church and they lived on Dockham Road whilst Dad built a house on Little Dean Hill Road. I was born in 1956 and not long after that my grandcha and my Gran Reed came to live with us. When I was 14... Circumstances changed with my dad's illness, so my parents sold the house and bought the shoe shop business in the High Street, where the MP has his office now. In later years, when they sold the business, they moved to Elm Dean, and Mum became a regular at the Bilson Chapel. She was an active fundraiser, helping with the Sunday school, flower festivals, coffee and cake mornings, all to keep the chapel in good order. Along with Megan, Muriel and Mum's cousin Kath, it was thriving. Kath still lives in the house next to where Mum was born. When the mission bell was stolen, a kind person donated the bell from my old school, Bilson School. Sometimes, when I took Mum to church, it would be ringing and it brought back memories of my school days. Mum was a member of the PCC at St Stephen's and fought for the mission's place in the community. As she became older, Mum was diagnosed with vascular dementia. So sadly, she had to allow her friends to take up more of the load with the church. Lynn and Kathleen would see her safely to church and back home. I also attended the mission when I could. Mum's last contribution to the mission was wrapping shoeboxes to be sent to needy children abroad at Christmas. Mum passed away in 2016 and soon after the floor of the chapel was declared unsafe. Mum's friends then attended services at Hanover Court and sometimes I would join them too. My mum would have been very sad to see the chapel no longer used. The history of the Bilson Mission Chapel was more than the building. The fellowship of its members was second to none. The priceless community spirit was something to behold. Sadly, the hope that the chapel could continue to be used as a community hub was not to be and its demolition has resigned it to history and our memories.